My name is Ian Collins and Product Manager at West Control Solutions. Cascade control is needed when it's difficult to achieve stable control within a system. This can be caused when there is lag in the system leading to overshoot, or when there's a high level of fluctuation in response to changes, or when the process variables have a high risk of disturbance, for example, a flow of steam that doesn't remain constant. Cascade control is the linking of two control loops in sequence for a single application. The first controller is known as the master and monitors the temperature of the end product. The output of the master controller is then used to drive the set point, the second control loop known as the slave. The slave controls the heater load based on the sensor input at the heater and the set point driven by demand from the master. As a result, the control system monitors changes at both the end product and at the heater and controls the system accordingly. A process requires to heat chocolate until melted for food manufacturing. Directly heating the chocolate creates a risk of scorching the end product due to very high temperatures generated by the heater. Water is used as a medium to heat the chocolate to the required temperature. The water temperature is fixed to never exceed 50 degrees centigrade. This ensures the chocolate is protected from high direct heat but introduces thermal lag to the system as temperature is conducted through the water to the chocolate. This lag makes temperature overshoot or unstable control more likely. As a result, Cascade can be used to improve control performance. The master controller measures the chocolate temperature and feeds the set point to the slave, which monitors and heats the water as required. If temperature of the chocolate is rising too fast, the set point is re reduced to the slave. The controller can then vary the heat applied accordingly, also based on the water temperature. Control performance is improved due to faster responsiveness. As a result, overshoot is minimised and less fluctuation in control. There is less risk of damage to the end product and as a result leading to less waste and a more efficient system. For more information, visit our website on www.west-cs.com.